All right, Reasons Heads. It's your boy Matlock with a tutorial on the comb. How to sample and do everything with this. And this is the beast right here. So first you want to get a comb. Make sure you come down, open it up, right click, plus reset device. This clears the comb of everything. There's no beats, there's no nothing in it, no sounds. It's empty. <clears throat> After that, you want to um, get you a sample. I got some samples on the side. You bring your sample in the timeline. Drop it in there. Now, if you already made a beat, sometimes I make a beat already. If you ever, if you make a beat already, you have your own tempo. The tempo is on 120 right now. But whenever you bring a sample in it, you want it to match your beat so it don't be off and it flows with your beat. You come to the sample, you press disable stretch. Disable stretch makes it match whatever that tempo is. These are steps. Remember these steps. You got that in place, now you're ready to mess with the sample. After you get the sample in line with your beat, you come over here, you press take the snap button off. If you take the snap button off, you can take the razor and chop anywhere. If that snap button is on, you cannot chop all over the place. You got to chop in lines, so that messes up your sample. So now that the snap is off, you take the uh, razor, you come over to the sample. You want to make the sample bigger so you can see. Just open it up like that so you can see how big, whatever you want to take. And you also can come to the, uh, put it back on the point. I don't want to, you want to hear what it is. I don't even know what I took, but we can listen. I must say that's a dope sample. Riz used it. I also used it. I already used that already. But you take the uh, razor, chop anywhere you want. So I'm opening it up so you can see. We're going to chop once, twice, three. All right, four times we're going to chop just for y'all to see. If you select the chop that you get, right click, press bounce to new clips to new samples. I'm going to hit all four of them. Bounce to new samples. Bounce click to new samples. Bounce clip to new samples. So now all the samples bounced over here. So now you can see every one of them. It's a little blurry, but this is where they at. So now you want to put these are ready to go right into the cone. So you take the cone, come down to where the cone is at. Open that cone up. And now you can just take it and put it right in there. Bam. See, now I got the bottom cone open. It says show drumming at effects right here. You press that arrow, open up the Kong. The Kong is crazy. See, now you open it up. Your sample is right here. It's down in here. You can do everything with your sample right in here. So now you come to your sample, you edit it. Press the edit button. Let me go back so you can see that. Go to the edit sample. Press that edit sample button. Now you can manipulate the sample. You can normalize it. You can reverse it if you want to. Uh, you can play it back to see how it plays. You can start it. You can come over here. You can end it. So I could press take the start and just move it over right here. You can press play to see how it starts. I just started from in the middle of it. I can end it right here. So you can manipulate the sample. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to take the sample, go like this, play with it, whatever I want to do with it, just to, just to do it. And just press uh, save. So now I got that in that first. You see, I was over looping. You don't want it to do that. You want it to play like so. You can press press it and play with it. So you come over here, and you it says full exclusive. You want to go to monophonic. So now it's is that is that free, whatever you want to do with it. You can just hit it. So you do that to the next sample. The same things. So put them all in there. And each sample has its own way to edit it. So now you come here and do the same process over. Edit it. I'm just doing anything just to show you. Save it. Do that same thing with it. Oh, yeah, but you got to do the steps. Monophonic for the second one. So it's... So... See, already you can make a beat just doing that. You got some sounds. Same thing with this one. Monophonic. And this one, you see how it goes. So I just want the whoa, whoa, whoa. Come over here to the whoa, whoa, whoa. 
take the E over here, press save and that simple. Take the next one, throw it over here. Monophonic. Then you put the edit, you edit it. What this doing? Trouble. It's just trouble. It was just take trouble. Man, trouble, man, trouble. In trouble. Trouble. So click that start right there. Press trouble. trouble. Save and and then after you get a minute, now you got all your samples in there. Now you can edit each one of them. The Kong is a beast. You can come down here. You got noise, tone, compressor, filter. You can overdrive. You can you can just play with these. Learn what you can do with them. I like the compress mods. I like the filter. Look, the compressor just brings it up. You turn that up on them. Add it louder. You could also take a turn it loud over here. You could do the pitch over here. Look. There's unlimited things you can do with this Kong, man. This is just a little tutorial. I don't want to drive you crazy with it. But I showed you the basics. Follow those steps. You gotta if you gotta take a pen and write it down. That's what I did. I have to write it down. So once you write it down, you'll memorize it. Then you won't have to write it down no more. Then it'll become easy. You just come on in and just do what you want to do. This is one way to sample, and I'll show you another way. But this is start you off to start getting your samples. Just follow all them steps, and you'll be good. All right, peace, Reason Heads. Hope y'all learned something from this. Let me know. All right, peace.